Hey, I'm Taryn and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. Before you get started, please make sure to like this video and to subscribe for more. So this video is something I've been thinking about for a while. Willow is going to be releasing a pop punk pop rock album soon. And I noticed a lot of people were saying how excited they are for a black girl to be entering this space or coming into this genre that you don't see a lot of us in. But that got me thinking about Fifi Dobson and how when I was a little girl, Fifi Dobson was in that pop punk pop rock rock and roll space as a young black woman, as a black girl. Obviously they came onto the scene at two different times. There's about a 16 year age gap between them. So I'm sure that some people between that gap will not know who Fifi Dobson is versus some people will not know who Willow is. I also feel like I remember hearing there's some issues with Fifi being signed to Def Jam and I don't think they gave her that big of a push. I remember hearing her on Disney and her getting features in TV shows and movies, I'm pretty sure. If you're unfamiliar with who Fifi Dobson is to give a little bit of a background. She is a Canadian singer from Toronto, Ontario. She was signed to Def Jam Records and her self-titled debut album came out in late 2003. If you have heard her music, you've probably heard everything or seen the music video or even Take Me Away. I definitely feel like those songs were featured in some type of movie or TV show growing up. However, if you don't know those two songs, there is a song called Star All Over which is on Hannah Montana to Meet Miley Cyrus. That was originally supposed to go on one of Fifi's albums, but it didn't go on there. But you can hear Fifi on that song in the background. And she also co-wrote it. And as I kind of went through a little bit of a rabbit hole about Fifi Dobson, I noticed a lot of her songs were covered by other artists like Selena Gomez, Jordan Sparks, etc. Which is something that you know is common in this music industry. So I don't think it's a big deal unless it was stolen, which I don't believe it was stolen. Okay, and to give a little bit of background about Willow, Willow has two very famous, very successful parents. However, she has not downed on her own. I would think that one of Willow's influences is her mother, Jada Pinkett Smith, who under the name of Jada Corinne founded a band called Wicked Wisdom, which is a new metal band. So I think that's where she gets some of her rock and metal influences from. This isn't me trying to take away from Willow and this is not me trying to come across as condescending toward Fifi. I was just wondering if people out there remember what I'm talking about. Yeah, I definitely feel like people remember it, but I feel like it's that gap because I feel like it's the difference with older millennials and the younger millennials that may have heard some and then some generation Z because that's around Willow's age. It's definitely an age gap and maybe a generation gap. Me personally, whenever people talk about Black girls being in that space, and especially now in current times, I always think back to Fifi Dobson and how she was definitely taken into that role, that space. I honestly think her label didn't give her an, enough of a push. I know that some people make comparisons to her and Rihanna when Rihanna came out with Rated R, which was her rock influenced album in 2009. And you know, I love Rihanna. I love Fifi, I love Willow. But yeah, I'm really excited about Willow's new album coming out. I enjoyed her last album. I just want to do this quick video, kind of like more pop culture-esque. But it wasn't, this wasn't me trying to take a dig at anyone. I was just wondering, does anyone else remember Fifi Dobson being on Radio Disney or whatever it was? Support both of their music, stream it, buy it, whatever, support it. I don't know exactly where I was going with this video, but yes, hooray for the black pop punk pop rock girls. I definitely love seeing it. You know, I love seeing us go back into areas that we founded, created, and reclaiming it. So I think that's super cool. And you know, I love seeing the black girls, the black woman go into this rock space. We've seen it with Rihanna, we've seen it with Beyonce, among other black female creatives. We've also seen it with her. We've seen it with Doja Cat. Well, I love seeing it. I think it's super cool. I think it's super nice to go into something where where people don't think they don't expect you to do it. So keep doing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you again. <laughs>